You talk about memory and concentration with fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. how that's affected. Mm -hmm. And that's something called fibrofog, I believe. That's right. Mm -hmm. And typically, people are given by the medical establishment, are given drugs to treat fibromyalgia, and that just contributes to the fibrofog. Right. What are some of the natural remedies or presentations that you give to your patients? Mm -hmm. Quite often people respond, will respond to direct neurotransmitter therapies. Mm -hmm. Part of that fibro fog is the inability for the neurotransmitter balance to be maintained in the brain. Mm -hmm. and so we're talking about things like GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, GABA, okay. or L-theanine, which comes from green tea, right. tryptophan, mm -hmm. um, tyrosine. These are amino acids That's that right. oftentimes can be helpful in reestablishing that balance. We incidentally use them for depression go figure. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's that, that kind of brain fog and heaviness that comes around depression. So that can be a very good therapeutic for the brain. There are also some very good herbs. One of the most famous ones is called Gotu Cola. Oh, yes. Gotu Cola has some great research. They actually gave it to medical students who were in uh, final exams mm -hmm. and they compared the ones who had the Gotu, Gotu Cola to those without and across the board all the exam scores were higher with the Gotu Cola. It, it's sort of like a brain food. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that particular affinity for the plant is to the brain. So those are some of the natural ways that people can deal with the memory and concentration yes. issue. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. There's also some other good um, support for people in other realms of, of issues that go with fibromyalgia. For example, um, in the general fatigue department, mm -hmm. there is licorice and other great what we call adaptogen herbs or tonifying herbs, things mm -hmm. like ashwagandha, which comes from India. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, licorice, ashwagandha, eleutherococcus, which is Siberian ginseng. These mm -hmm. are all tonifying herbs. They tend to build up a depleted system. Okay, yes. Yeah, and even adrenal preparations, uh, adrenal glandulars, adrenal gland, mm -hmm. um, thyroid gland, pituitary gland, they can often help with some of these debilitating and, and difficult aspects of the endocrine disruption, the hormone disruption in the body. Well, I'm glad that there are alternatives. Thank you. You're welcome.